Oh, folks, you're going to have to excuse the poor audio if it's a bit blowy, sort of in the middle of a storm at the minute. Right, folks, so this is Rob. Okay, so this is uh, an Iveco daily, uh, 2.3. Uh, van cost me 3,200. And the conversion to date is around about six grand. So we're talking nine, between nine and 10 grand in total. So. This is like carpenter's dream in here. <laughs> Holy sh Pretty much everything is built out of, what is this, six mil? Yeah, I think it's 5.5 mil. It's all got a sort of like a two by two or a two by one frame. So this is like, is this a second bed as well then? So yeah, this is all got storage, so it splits into two halves, so you've got a two metre long bed. Yeah. This is predominantly a sofa most of the time, and then it can pull out into a double, so there's two sets of, uh, sort of sponges, yeah. which then form the double mattress. And then where I'm sat now underneath here is the diesel heater. Is that two outlets for that? So this, that's the inlet there for the cool oh, air. Okay. And then there's two outlets underneath the sofa. And then there's an outlet just by the wardrobe as well. So there's three outlets. That's clever that is because then it's obviously recirculating the air. Yeah. And so all of the furniture was built. So it's all modular. So right. behind it all, there are pin hinges. A sort of a pin like that. Okay. And that sort of goes through into into a hinge. Every piece of furniture is screwed to, to the floor or to the wall with these and then you just pull out the pins wow. and then everything can come out yeah. and then it can become a normal van again. So you're like an engineer then? <laughs> or what? <'Cause laughs> just anal. <laughs> <laughs> everything is just perfect in its own way. It's so unique. The thing is when I moved into it, like full time living, mm. it was empty. So the only thing I'd done was the floor, the walls, all insulated, yeah. finished floor, finished walls, and just an insulated ceiling, and then yeah. I moved in. Wow. So I had like an air bed, yeah. all of my camping bits and pieces, a deck chair that I used to sort of sit in, and I would move that chair around over the evenings. <laughs> I've, I've got Rob's van book that's up on the... Uh... <laughs> so in there was basically every idea yeah. And as I was in it, I could move myself around and then designed it around me being in it. This kitchen was designed from this perspective. I was actually sat on the floor in this corner yeah. and designed all the curves and everything. Just drew <laughs> it from this perspective. Came up with the idea of the bookshelf, which really all it serves more than being a bookshelf. It's actually a room divider. That was its main purpose. Yeah. Which is divide the own personal library. Not many people have got that in a van. No. <laughs> the bed's a, f a fixed bed, so that had to be sort of one of my sort of goals. Yeah. It incorporates obviously a garage below this, and where the wardrobe is, this originally was meant to be a sort of toilet stroke uh, shower room. Yeah. But once I've got the bed in, it's yeah, just not yeah. enough space. Yeah. So in the end, I basically <laughs> used it as storage. So still got the sign though. <laughs> yeah. I have a toilet at the bottom, and basically to make things easy, all I did was make a shell and built everything around these sort of plastic tubs. Yeah. So all of the the units is all built God. around pre-fabricated tubs because I hate making drawers. Yeah. Oh, that's perfect, that is, isn't it? Saves you a lot of time yeah, as well. Yeah, absolutely. I love that you've done a single bed. You know, nine out of 10 people do the van build and do the double bed, even if they're on their own. Yeah, there. yeah. And then look how much extra space you've got. For I know, stuff. and quite frankly, if I was lucky enough to bring someone else back here, it's really, really cosy. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's it. But it's it's me, and it's just yeah, it's the most coziest place to be. Yeah. It's really, really snug. It's like up there. a little pod, isn't it? Yeah, almost. it is. And I've I, I sort of deliberated for ages with height so I can just about sort of sit up in it and read yeah. a book. And again, all of this is all built round pre-made pre shelves. Oh, wow. So there's storage in here for bits and pieces, food, etc. And then this whole side panel comes off, yeah. so that comes off, so then I can get access to the garage uh -huh. okay. as well. Nice. Just in case you need to get anything yeah, from in here. absolutely. Oh, brilliant. And then I've got um, a little cool box in here and just sort of perishables that just go in there. Just everything, like, <laughs> everything is just amazing. It really is. I then made a mistake. This perfect transition from amazing to I just made a mistake. <laughs> <laughs> so again, all built round drawers. Yeah. And then I had these three drawer units, and once I'd put this facial on, I couldn't get the top drawer out. No. <laughs> so, not wanting to waste the space, 
I basically created a hatch that opens up and then this is a little slidey extension wow. <laughs> and now I can get to my secret stash. Oh my God. That's amazing. <laughs> Every little nook and cranny I've tried to keep a little shelf even behind you there's just little shelves. So this is your your lighting is all run off. That is my lighting. Everything your power is all button. run off double A's. Um, apart from the LEDs that do the wall lights, yeah, um, those can run off the um, leisure battery. What leisure battery? I've got a 110 amp hour leisure yeah. battery in there, and that's predominantly just for the kicking the diesel heater in there. Yeah. yeah. I mean, it's a, it's a smart way to do it because you know all of this is just off these. I suppose if you wanted, you could get rechargeable. Yes. Yeah. And then charge them at work or. Whatever, couldn't you? Yeah, absolutely. If you wanted to do it that way. Yeah. So when I did the walls, there's obviously battens that run vertically down the walls, mm. and then I used a nail gun. Yeah. So yeah, all of this is pins. nailed in, yeah. and then the same with the ceiling. So there are battens that go across on the main support ribs, yeah. and then all of this is just nail guns. So wow. there are very few visible screw heads yeah. apart very from good. things that are holding up paintings and stuff. Very clean. So how long have you been living in here for? Then? So I've been in here for just over 18 months now. Yeah. yeah. So uh, the actual living in it as a shell and move and building all of the furniture and rough bulkheads was two weeks. Wow. Bloody hell. Two weeks? Yeah. Because I had a two week holiday. <laughs> so, oh my God. So I would drive the van to the back of the workshop, take everything out yeah. and then build whatever it was that I needed to build. I can't believe that, two weeks. That definitely puts my two week build to shame of Marie's van. <laughs> my God. What do you do about your water situation? There's a, uh, a waste tank underneath there that just needs to plumb, be plumbed in and then I'll just basically just put a very simple manual yeah. on that. Is it like a foot pump or something? I think I'll just do a hand one. Hand one? Yeah, yeah, I'm just going to keep it really simple. The thinking behind this build was to keep everything as simple as possible. Yeah. Um, as much as I deal with electrics at work, yeah. but I only make electrics sort of work, i.e. operator, yeah, yeah, yeah. lighting desk, sound desk, etc. Yeah. But when it comes to the actual fiddly stuff, I'm not too confident on that, yeah. and so I just kept it as basic as I possibly could. So I know that all my lights, it's just double A's, it's just a matter of, and if, it's, if they're yeah. really bad, I can just strip it out and put a new set in. The same with the water, it will just be a manual thing. Did you leave that with the knowledge that you were going to yeah. put these things yeah, on? Yeah, so that had the original insulation and then I basically ran a bunch of more silver tape. So that would have been originally just the, uh, the firmer wrap, the bubble wrap. Yeah. And then I've just gone over that with the silver tape just to give me that reflective property. Yeah, I so love them. No, that's amazing. They are. <laughs> they are the most custom thing I've ever seen. <laughs> Basically, the inspiration behind this came from, <laughs> it all started from the holes in this. Right. Because I didn't want to put handles on. Once I've done the holes, that came the theme. And so I then started to keep that theme onto the panelling. Yeah. So I just came up with this idea, uh, put a table on a draw runner, and then it's on a hinge, and then you drop a pin in. That is. that is brilliant. And you've got the old design following the Carry well. on the whole motif, yeah. <laughs> I've called a garage and then I have what I then called a tool shed. Oh wow. <laughs> oh, my God. That's cracking. And the obligatory stickers. <laughs> yes. <laughs> of course. <laughs> Yeah. Trying to keep it stealth is that when this doors are open, yeah. it just looks like a, a, a works van. Yeah, yeah. There's nothing to give away that it is a motorhome. And then when it is a nice day, then I can sort of slide this open. Oh, brilliant. So I can then let yeah. air into the bedroom area. And because of where I park, I park quite a lot in lay bys and things like that. So keeping it as a stealth panel van, yeah. no one touches me. I sort of sit in behind juggernauts quite comfortably and no one bothers me. I love tenuous links. Wherever I can find one, I'll go for it. So the name of the van's Neo or Mr. Anderson. Yeah. Um, the channel's called Red Pill in Motion. Uh, and so in order to unplug myself from the matrix, I took a red pill. Yeah. So there was the whole matrix connotation. Yeah, my YouTube channel's called uh, Red Pill in Motion. So yeah, if you want to see 
this van in much greater detail than I can show in this video. Be sure to uh, go check out his channel. Thanks for uh, showing us around, mate. Not much appreciated. No, thank you.